to the people of Pennsylvania by saying, okay, well, we, we need to raise 4.2 so because we can spend it. It would have required every family where there's a, the average family of four, it would have required them to pay $900 more in personal income tax to the state last year. Can I have a show of hands? How many of you wanted to pay the state $900 more? <laughs> Let's ask the question the other way. How many of you are glad that you didn't have to pay $900 a year more last year? And now some of you have got your hands in your pockets. I was a teacher. This is class participation time. Okay. I hope you agree with me. You don't want to pay continual more taxes. And this year we're still about a billion dollars short. So it would be another $300 on top of that $900. So it would be $1,200 this year, $900 last year, and it would be $1,200 continuing if we continue to spend the same way. And I think you're probably wondering, well, how do we spend? Where's all the money going? I'm going to use this one chart. First off, this first chart is what we get. This is, this is the pizza pie. Okay? 38% of the money that you pay goes to some form of welfare. 38.9%. 40.3% goes to education, K through 12 and higher ed. Corrections, probation, and parole is 7.3%. These have continued to grow every year. In fact, this is the first year that corrections is not going to be growing in the budget. We stopped it. We're working to make savings. So that everything else comes out of the 13.4%. They understand where we're having to spend money, where we're having to make cuts. Another way of looking at it is the dollar sign. We all understand the dollar. 40, 40 cents of every tax dollar you pay goes to education in Pennsylvania. 40 cents. 38, 39 cents of every tax dollar goes to welfare. 7 cents goes to corrections and probation and parole. 13 cents is left for everything else that we want to do. We're trying to drive the message home. If we raise taxes, businesses like Brian have to make a decision. Do they want to grow? I want them to grow. I want them to come here to Pennsylvania. We have companies that we've been able to convince to move from New Jersey where the taxes are higher to come to Pennsylvania in other areas. We have companies that are coming from other states, the companies that are starting here. But I will tell you, we have the second largest corporate net income tax in the country. So we have to be able to attract. We have to control our spending first. I know a lot of people aren't happy with this budget. I'm not happy with it. I wish I had all the money in the world. I don't. And I don't want to continue to spend it in a way that isn't producing income and wealth for all of you. We want to give you a better cost of, a better uh, life, a better uh, cost of government, reduce it, and have you enjoy your own income. So I keep going back that these are your public tax dollars, and that's how they're being spent. That's why we're trying to control the spending. You might hear, and I'm going to repeat this because I said it yesterday. If you hear the school districts, and I'm sure you have, say, Last year, I cut $800 million in school funds. It's a lie. We didn't. We actually increased the state share, this share. We actually increased it last year, and we're increasing it this year by another $20 million. This is the highest amount that we have as a state ever put in to K through 12. It's the highest. What was cut was the federal money that was given to us three years ago by the federal government, and they were told it's good for two years. It's stimulus money. How many of you heard? Remember the term shovel-ready? Okay, it was the shovel-ready money, and it was used in the education budgets of school districts across the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania to boost salaries and to pay for pensions. Okay? That's 